Hey everybody, this is EZ with Brothers Forge Gaming, and welcome to The Forge. So recently there's been a challenge going around, uh, you know, some of our friends, acquaintances across YouTube have been doing videos on the top five things in their game room and then kind of passing that along, uh, you know, in a tag format. You know, and that was pretty cool. I really enjoyed watching those videos and, and seeing uh, the kind of combination of, of cool and nostalgic and, you know, just memorable to each person uh, out there. And, and then eventually it came to Brothers Forge Gaming. We got tagged. Our buddy Regan Riggles there, you know, threw a tag our way. So, I you know, EZ's up. Uh, it's time to get into what are the top five things in my game room. Uh, you know, it, this was a, an incredibly hard, hard choice. I know there's so many layers of things going around in here that sometimes I even get lost or, or forget exactly, uh, you know, what, what's here. But I got to kind of really get into it, really think about it. And I was able to pick five things as of right now. There were some really close calls, but, but I got five things that I think are my most memorable or, uh, you know, just kind of unique. So let's get into that right now. So let's get started here with number one. And these aren't in any order of, uh, you know, how much I really like something. You know, I don't think something is necessarily cooler than the other thing. But what I did was I went from stuff that was the newest to me to, to stuff that is actually, you know, really, really old and, and has a lot of history. So, you know, one of the newest things in my collection, but I think it's just a really neat, unique thing, was... Uh, uh, recently I did a short video, I went into a game store and and they had called me about this coming into town and I was able to pick up the uh, World Class Service Joystick Test Cartridge uh, for the NES, you know, to, to test out, you know, it, it's basically more of a piece of history, you know, it basically just tests controllers and, and everything like that, it's not super functional, but I think that it was so cool, it came into my hometown, uh, they called me, I got it locally, you know, that's a lot of fun and and it's a cool piece to have, and you know, we're, I'm a very big, we're both very big uh, NES collectors, so we had to show something NES off, and that definitely is, is got to be on the top five right now in my game room. All right, moving on to number two, the second thing in EZ's game room, and oh yeah, let me tell you something, brother, that's a five foot seven cardboard cutout of Hulk Hogan. Uh, me and Mr. C are just diehard fans of wrestling. Uh, it, it's so cool. We've actually ran into so many people who are, are such big fans of wrestling. I know, like, Gaming Off the Grid has just a, an epic uh, wrestling, you know, uh, collectible section there. That, that was really cool. But, you know, we, we're really big into collecting movies, VHS, all that stuff. And at a trade show, I came across this uh, promotional cardboard cutout of Hulk Hogan. And you know what, brother? I just had to have it in the collection. So he came home to permanently live in the forge. And that's number two. All right, moving on to the third thing in Easy's game room. And it is a special one in a few different ways. And that's the Steel Battalion controller. Man, this was, this was pretty cool. I've had it for a, a few years now. And there's just a really neat story behind it. It's actually a, a really, really good friend of mine. Uh, he's actually the guy who got me into Xbox. It's the only reason I play Xbox and all this stuff was because of this guy. Uh, we played a bunch of Halo and stuff. And I remember him showing me this controller when he had it back at, you know, on a house he had or rented or something, you know, and that was really cool. And, and you know, so years go by and, and you know, he sees what we're doing and all this stuff and he calls me out of the blue and, you know, he says, oh, I got something for you. I, I went through storage and I got something for you. And I went, oh, that's really neat. You know, I thought he was going to bring over a couple of games, you know, I had asked him about. And this guy shows up, he's got Steel Battalion controller in hand, he's got the game complete, he's got, you know, paperwork for the thing, basically every damn near thing but the manual. I mean, uh, the, the box, the whole, the whole box for it, you know, he's got everything else, so, um, you know, that was really cool, and, and he came over and, 
and he just ended up donating it to me and, and I thought that was always something that I'll remember um, because you know it's just a, another neat piece of equipment through gaming history and I'm glad to have it it's not something I ever really wanted to go after or anything but you know I'm glad that, that it's around and I do get a little bit of use out of it and it, it's it's fun so definitely uh, holding a place in my heart at number three the still battalion controller all right, getting into the fourth thing in Easy's game room. It may not look all that special to the, the normal eye, but this is very, very dear to me. This is actually my original Sega CD from 1993, and it I, I, we, I am a huge FMV Sega CD fan. I, I love that. It's probably because I've had this and, and played it my whole life. Um, I, I just, I will always never forget the day I really wanted Joe Montana football on the Sega CD, but I also wanted the Sega CD, and um, and my, my, my dad, he went out and he, he actually, he hid this from me, and they gave me the Joe Montana game, and then I didn't end up getting, a, you know, a Sega CD, and I was kind of like, well, you know what, what the heck, like, this isn't the right system, or the right game, you know, and, and sure enough, they came out of the back closet with the surprise gift, and that was this, and I'll never forget that, I, I've just, I've always loved this. It connects me to my, my parents and family, and me and Mr. C had played this a whole lot. Uh, and, and it just is something that is, it's it's old, it, you know, it's just from 1993. It's been around the block, and it's, it's been through a lot of houses and a lot of places with me, and I'm glad it's still here today. So that definitely is my little sentimental piece. Number four in the game room, that's the inbox Sega CD. Well, it's been fun, but we've reached it. Here's number five, the fifth thing in Easy's game room, and that is the Gravatar Atari arcade cabinet. My family has had this. My dad got it. Uh, we do construction style work, and he, he got it in 1985. Uh, it's been in our family ever since. My brother's played it so much, uh, I do have to get the screen uh, worked on a little bit, but I got a guy that does that, so how exciting. But yeah, you can hear that. It's fired up. It uh, it's still good to go. Gotta love that. Gotta love that. That's so exciting. That uh, this is this is actually just one of the most memorable, cool pieces I've had in in my collection for for so long. You know, and it kind of does just sit in the corner right now, and and you know until I get the the screen recapped, but. When I remember the day when my dad gave me the keys, it's like getting your own car, you know, uh, to all the things. But but this was always so cool. You know, I couldn't imagine a game room without uh, one authentic arcade. And it, it still looks beautiful. It's all original, and it's in really good shape. So that is the oldest and most dearest thing in Easy's game room. And that, uh, that completes our five. All right, well that about wraps it up here for five things in Easy's Game Room from Brothers Forge Gaming. Uh, this was a whole lot of fun. I'm glad I got to, you know, get everything all straightened up and 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 show some cool stuff. I hope you enjoyed the stories behind some of it, or just uh, you know what I what I had to offer. I guess you know, big shout out to uh, Reagan Riggles who gave us the tag so we could do this fun project. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I'm I'm glad it finally came our turn. So. So thanks for that. So I guess it's our turn to maybe throw out some tags. Um, and you know, I've been seeing, a, I've seen a lot of people's and they were a lot of fun, but a few people I don't think have done them yet. And I'd kind of like to see some stuff. First is uh, our buddy Tony from Back in the Day Gamer. I'd love to see what you think are the five things in your game room, man. That would be cool. Uh, I know you got a lot of a lot of cool stuff and you always make good, good videos. And uh, second would be uh, our buddy, The Jab Jab Show. Uh, I, I think he has some interesting things and I'd like to, to take a little deeper look into his room if he's got time. And, and third, you know, I, I know, uh, Telesplash, Chris Christensen there had already tagged, uh, Mr. Russell Lyman, but, you know, I really would like to second tag him because I'd like to see what he considers the top five things in his room as well. I know he's got, uh, some pretty epic stuff. So, you know, there's a couple, if you guys got time, that would be awesome. We want to see. Uh, other than that, this has been Brothers Forge Gaming. You know, look forward to some future projects. This has inspired me to probably do a full room tour, and uh, we've got some other cool stuff coming up. So like, comment, subscribe, and keep checking us out. We'll catch you next time.